Welcome to this screencast. We are going to talk about overflow when we are doing binary edition. And we're doing all this with pen and paper um, because this is for GC, to prepare you for GCSE exam. My name is Mr. Gova and this is for my GCSE computer science students in June 2020. Inside the computer, each bit has a physical space in the CPU. For si the sake of simplicity, in this video on bin binary additions, I'm using four bits binary. Now, the biggest number you can write using four bits is 15. Anything bigger than 15, you would need to add another bit. But right now, I haven't got what, I've, it's not possible, not in this uh, CPU. Um, this is only a 4-bit one, which did exist for real. What do you do? How do you deal with that situation? Well, there is something you know in the coding we've done in the classroom so far, when something happens like that, that the CPU, the computer, the programming language cannot deal with, you get an error. And that error, if you're a good coder, you should be able to process it, deal with it, process it. Process it, the addition wouldn't crash, you would tell the calculator that Actually, the number we are going to get, our results, is bigger than what we can phys physically calculate. So we are going to have to do it a different way. That error is called overflow. And being able to recognize when overflow occurs is something you need to be able to do in your exam because there might be questions. For example, in my 4-bit binary edition, if I am asked to calculate, um, let's say, 10 plus 9, right now we know there's going to be an overflow. And we want all the points for that question. If there is an overflow, quite likely, there's going to be two marks, one for the result, and one to identify the overflow. You need to be able to do that to get maximum grades in your exam. So, 10, what is 10? It's made of an 8, no 4, a 2, and no 1, plus a 9. What is a 9? It's an 8, no 4, no 2, and a 1. If I do the addition, so there's my result line, there's my carry, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. The results in 4 bits binary is this. This is the result of adding those two binary numbers in 4-bit binary. But there is an error if this was maths. So your result is this, and you should be saying, which is exactly what happened inside the CPU, a 4-bit CPU, my result is 0, 0, 0011, 1, 1, 1, with another flow.
Another way to write this, which will be accepted in the exam, is to write your result is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. But this is no longer 4 bits binary because now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits. But you can identify the other flow by doing this. So the examiner, when reading your, your answer, will see that you've done the right results with your four bits and that you've identified that there is an overflow error happening because you're adding two numbers that are bigger than what you can fit inside your four bits binary. In the exam, it could be an eight bit binary question rather than four bits. It's exactly the same system and you identify it the same way. Just my advice would be write explicitly four bits binary overflow. I look forward to seeing your work in our lessons.